Yeah. Next. And next, for camera one, what we have is six halves of lemon. We need to squeeze the lemon, get the juice out. We've already taken the rind, so that's, up, that's our first step. Second step is to squeeze the juice. Six halves of lemon. And here we go. You can see the size of the market here is coming up to 100 ml already. We probably need around about 100, 100 and 110 ml. So actually probably four lemons would be fine. Never mind. Next, we need to mix the ingredients. Of course, we only use Buller cream. We also use only use Philadelphia cream cheese. And Lady General Marigold full cream sweetened condensed milk. Oh, Thank you to our supporters of these enough. products. Next, we need to mix the products together. That is our Philadelphia, made by Kraft, our Buller fresh cream, and sweetened condensed milk. Of course, we have to open the package. Chorong! <laughs> Cut! <laughs> what the hell is Chorong? <laughs> Yucky! <laughs> Sorry about your teeth. <laughs> yeah. will not, I will not sell it. <laughs> That's what makes it special, you know. Yeah, Eat the mark! <laughs> only on the wrapper. On the wrapper. <laughs> Next, we mix all the cream together. Cream cheese and the sweetened condensed milk all in one. Of course, it pours out very easily. And uh, with the help of a knife, voila! All in one pot. What is this? Never mind. I will pick that out in a minute. <laughs> Next we need to mix everything in together. It does help if you make sure that the cream cheese is actually at room temperature before you start mixing. Why? Because it gets a little bit lumpy if you don't. So it has to be room temperature. Next we're going to use the, the little blender over here. Fantastic little blender made by Kenwood. And oh, no. excuse, my, excuse, my, excuse my excuse my excuse my children over back uh, there. That's not one of the audience. That's one of the audience. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Uh, we switch on. Whoa! Watch that ingredients blend together. It's very important to make sure that the mixture is not lumpy. Now it looks a little bit lumpy here, but don't worry. There's a little bit of hard work in the mixer. Thanks to Kedwood. We'll make sure that everything gets mixed in. We need to mix in the ingredients first without the lemon juice. Why? So that we make sure that we, you know, all gets mixed in. So of course we record the lemon, we have mixed in the lemon and the lemon rind made from our specially collected South African lemon. <laughs> Is the lemon dark color from Africa? <laughs> That's right. We need a, a, a volunteer to actually uh, test to make sure that the cheesecake mix is actually in the right consistency. Last thing we're going to pour in is the gelatin in just a second, but let's just see, take this over to one of our testers, see if it's actually edible. Is it nice? <laughs> That's good. Is that, is that, is that good? Mm, positive. Positive. Okay, fantastic. Okay, next what we're going to use is we're going to use gelatine powder. Now this gelatine powder is actually made from beef skin, halal. Beef? Beef skin, halal, slaughtered. Okay, oh. and this actually is mixed about a couple of spoons like this in the hot water just to make the, the gelatine mix. Then we pour the gelatine mix into the, into, into here. This will allow, enable the uh, because, because the gelatin is actually quite hot, uh, we need to mix the gelatin in uh, very quickly. Uh, not really like that. The gelatin will actually help it to set once we put it into the actual plantain. So it's important to pour it in quickly and mix it around quickly. Now we have the perfect mix for our cheesecake. Delicious. Here we go. We use Graham's crust. Why? 
grams because grams gives you a very good base. We start with the mixture and then we, as you can see, all we need to do is pour it straight in. too much mix. So what do you do? Well fortunately Graham's also makes some small little ones. Perfect. Finally what do you do? You put the cheesecake not in the oven but in the fridge. That's where it bakes. You put both of them in. But what do you do with a little leftover cheesecake mix that you've got? A tiny little bit of cheesecake. Mmm. I know what I can do with that. It's straight in the stomach. Mm. <laughs> Good stuff. What's up? Yeah. Not in the oven, but in the fridge. That's where it bakes. You put a tiny little bit of cheesecake. Mmm, I know what I can do with that. It's straight.